Notice from the Central Intelligence Coordination and Project Operation Command Office. SPC-2922 is currently active. Marine Fighting Team Aura Arun has been deployed to the Blue Abyss and Teeth-Filled Void to engage all Astro Sea Dark entities located there. The current roster of MFT Aura Arun is approximately 300,000 members strong. All individuals who qualify for potential membership will be inducted into Amber Rune upon their deaths. The Three Moons Initiative is upholding their end of the agreement to assist the Center with SPC-2922. Project Number SPC-2922 Serakian Pagnoto Capabilities SPC-2922 is vital for the protection of the Three Moons Initiative administered cross-universal zone Kovenik. Kovenik is an area of cross-universal importance, which presents an opportunity for SPC-001 to escape our reality and infect other universes. Kovenik is currently being invaded by astral sea dog deviant type Serkian entities originating from our universe. It is vital that the spread of SPC-001 be prevented. Other dimensions may not be as able to combat the threat posed by it as easily as our own. This is demonstrated in the need of the Three Moons Initiative to contact the Center, as they would have otherwise been destroyed by Zerkian entities. SPC-2922 has ensured that all astro sea dark entities within Kobernik had been confined to two specific areas designated as Blue Abyss and Teeth-Filled Void. Blue Abyss, the larger of the two zones, to which all astral sea dark entities have been confined, is an oceanic region in Kobernik. At its deepest point, Blue Abyss has measured depth of 25 kilometers, at the bottom of which is a manifestation point for astral sea dark entities. Due to the difficulties in reaching this point, it has been determined that Amaro Rune will be unable to destroy it. Teeth Filled Void is a desert within Kopernik that is perpetually night. Several Astro Sea Dark manifestation points are located below the surface, causing Astro Sea Dark entities to sporadically burst forth from the sands and attack. Project Components SPC 2922 consists of a single component Marine Fighting Team Amaro Rune. An army-sized battalion comprised of nearly every deceased individual who professed loyalty to the center prior to their deaths. The Three Moons Initiative was able to recruit almost all the individuals with such loyalty from their respective afterlives and then deploy them in Armour Rune. Armour Rune forms the infantry of SPC-2922 and has been deployed to Blue Abyss and Teeth Filled Void in order to engage Astro Sea Dark entities. Currently, there are approximately 300,000 members of Armour Rune. As a result of the nature of Kopernik, members of Armour Rune universally possess several attributes that allow them to combat Zenekian entities more effectively. These include a complete and total inability to die, a highly effective regenerative healing factor, Members of Amara Rune have regenerated from every wound that has been inflicted upon them in a short period of time. Lack of a need to eat or drink. At all times, members of Amara Rune have levels of energy which render rest unnecessary. Any potentially fatal or lasting injuries which an individual may have suffered before dying will be nullified. Lack of a need to breathe. This allows members of Amara Rune to perform at peak performance underwater. Enhancement Summary An agreement has been made with the Three Moons Initiative in order to facilitate SPC-2922 in combating all Astro Sea Dark entities located within Kopernik. The Three Moons Initiative does not possess the same goals as the Center concerning Serkian entities in general, but is hostile towards all such entities within Kopernik. As such, an agreement has been made in which Agents of the Center shall deal with Astro Sea Dark Entities, with the Three Moons Initiative providing support to the Center in this goal. The Three Moons Initiative has used technology referred to us 
as how they should deny munitions to prevent or limit the regenerative abilities of astral sea dark entities within Blue Abyss and Teeth Filled Void, allowing for such entities to be combated and killed. Allowing the death of each center-aligned individual, representatives from the Three Moons Initiative shall collect them, provide them with an appropriate equipment and clothing, brief them on the operations of Armor Rune, and then transport them to Blue Abyss or Teeth Filled Void. In exchange for the service of protecting Kobernik from the Sinekian entities, the Three Moons Initiative has agreed to escort members of Almer Rune to more ideal afterlives following the completion of the current stage of operations. Deployment Record The presence of Astro Sea Dark entities in Blue Abyss and Teeth Wolf Void was first brought to the attention of the SPC by the Three Moons Initiative on November 25th, 2014. Over the course of the following set of emails sent to Center Pugilist Lyle Nysmith. Foundation. Extramental interference within several Copernic associated zones has been detected by the Three Months Initiative and has been determined to have been sourced to your dimension. This interference is currently taking the form of spectral shocks. This threatens the stabilities of all afterlives and have been determined to be the result of your agency. All sharks are killed by your agents. We are currently planning to engage these entities with thermal nuclear syn deterrent and high yield exothermic disappointment ordinance. But if you do not cease these actions, we will be forced to enact substantive sanctions against your reality. Three Moons Initiative. To the Three Moons Initiative, one. I don't think you understand how we operate here. We're the Shock Punching Center. Note, Pritchardless Nysmith was reprimanded for his usage of this unofficial title for the center, which contains a word center operatives are discouraged from using. And you're asking us to not punch Sunny Keens anymore? No can do, my friend. Of course, we recognize this is a problem that needs to be dealt with. And it won't be by not pummeling Sunny Keens anymore. Two, I made a proposal to my bosses about this, and it's been approved. We've already begun a plan to send our best punches into the afterlife to defend it. If ritual suicide is what we have to do to secure a safe afterlife for others, then so be it. Believe me, we want this thing gone as quickly as possible, too. Three, don't use the S-word. Bad luck. Call them Selinkian entities. Four, Nuclear sin deterrence and disappointment ordinance? Not going to work. Is this the first time dealing with Sinekians? They don't sin. They won't feel anything from your disappointment. The only thing that works on them is a good old pair of fisticuffs. Everybody knows that. That's SPC 001's one weakness, after all. 5. What is this foundation? Are you talking about those extra universal pack rats? Prejudice Nysmith. What the frick? Theme Moons Initiative Following this exchange, the Center was able to establish diplomatic relations with the Three Moons Initiative and make a mutual agreement to solve the problem posed by SPC 001's intrusion into Kobelik, detailing the enlistment of all deceased Center agents into SPC 2922 in exchange for the protection of civilians from our universe in Kobelik. It is currently projected that Teeth Field Void will be cleared of all Sinekian entities by January 1st, 2019, at which point SPC 2922 will be refocused in scope and size. After this goal's reach, Armor Room will be reduced in size to 5,000 agents on a rotating basis. While not on duty within Blue Abyss, members will be sent to their ideal afterlives. A message from MFT Armor Room Command. From Armor Sanchez, Senior Pagnotolist, MFT Armor Room. If you can read this, you are already dead. I regret to inform you that you have died in a line of duty. Please take a moment to accept this news. Welcome to the Marine Fighting Team Armor Room, the final task of all agents of the Center. This is your final burden before you can be granted a true and fitting rest, although some of you might find peace in this task. 
because you are reading this, you are currently in a place called Kopernik. As far as we have been told, it is the afterlife. Every single one. Normally, you get sent to a specific afterlife after you die. But for us, death is not rest. Sharks, don't worry, you can use that word here, are spilling into the afterlife. If we do not stop this, then no one will ever rest. SPC-001 would spread to other worlds, and all our efforts would have been for naught. Do not worry about failure, for there is no risk of it. Wounds you suffer here do not last. The dead cannot die again. There are things that can pose a danger to you in Kopernik, but they are not sharks, and they are not in the blue abyss or the teeth-filled void. Once we have repaired the sharks enough and isolated them to Blue Abyss, you will be allowed to pass on to where you are meant to be. The three moons will make sure of that. This is in the normal order of things, but for our service, they will make an exception. Remember this. You are watched. You are protected. Sharks are punched. Welcome to Valhalla. We are the saints who punch.